what's up guys so before I get this review going I just want to mention something really quick one of my subscribers brought it to my attention and it was actually kind of embarrassing and that is in my previous video I mentioned that I did not put Marcus Mariota in that top five list because I had not played with them and you know and you guys know how I feel about that and he brought it to my attention and he noted or he told me that in fact I did review Marcus Mariota and I was like are you serious so I went to go check my videos and he was right I did review all rookie Marcus Mariota and completely forgot about it which just goes to show how many reviews I've done I can't believe I completely forgot that I did review Mariota but anyways I still stand by my statement that guy's absolutely a top five budget quarterback but anyways the second thing that I want to talk about really quick is in my TJ Yeldon review two of those plays in that uh, review was actually DeMarco Murray that was my fault sometimes I run the ball so many times the game will sub in DeMarco Murray and I don't even notice it that's completely my fault but so I'll do my best to make sure that that kind of stuff doesn't happen anymore but anyways guys enough about that here we go 4th of July Lori Malloy 99 overall dual style zone defense man defense style 6 foot 1 98 speed 100 excel 92 man 102 hit power 100 pursuit 97 tackle 100 play rec and 98 zone also has 80 catch and will make some very very nice catches and absolutely, I was going to be comparing him to the campus Eric Berry. Those two are so similar in terms of their gameplay, except on paper, you know, Lloyd Malloy just blows him out of the water. And for some reason, uh, Malloy is the only player on my team with a red star on him, so he, you know, makes it easier to find. I'm not sure why that is, but it is what it is. But anyways, here we go. Right here, as you can see, playing the zone man, very aggressive, loves to jump route. Look at that. He deflects his own pass and then intercepts it at the end, which is very nice. As you can see here, a solid job at breaking up the mid passes and short passes, you know, those he did just fine. And right here, like I said, very aggressive, just jumping the routes, man, just not giving it down, being so aggressive. That's what you want from your strong safety to undercut routes, like right here again. Oh, and also, as you can see right there, loves to smack people, which is what you want from your safety as well, to smack people, knock the ball out. So, in terms of just being aggressive and playing the zone, solid. As far as interceptions go, as you can see here, when the ball gets plopped up in the air, man, and if he's anywhere near it, believe me, there's a very, very good chance. I would say like a 95% chance he's going to come down with it. So, always good to know from your safeties. As far as these, you know, all these animations go, he got a few of these. Not too many, but he did get a few of them. I did play like four seasons with them, man. So, believe me, I saw everything I needed to I needed to see and once again right there man the ball gets plopped up and if he's anywhere near it man the guy's gonna die for it he's gonna jump up for it right here once again man it just went completely uncontested jumped up I believe right here's another one he gets plopped up in the air man just picks it off so believe me man if the ball is anywhere near his hands he's gonna come down with it now hit power man I just don't get it I mean I've reviewed so many players with uh, you know just like amazing hit power that right there was a quarterback and no fumble i reviewed linebackers and safeties and whatnot with like 99 hit power 100 hit power 101 hit power he has 102 hit power and just you just don't see those fumbles and same thing with him like nine hit sticks zero fumbles very unfortunate as far as the deep ball goes this is actually where he struggled the most but of course i'm not saying he was terrible and like never stopped it at all as you can see here he did have his moments but i would say in terms of grades i would give this like a C plus and that is just not something you want to see from your defenders especially this late in the game and speaking of bad plays you know these bad tackles right here were really the only ones this one and this one right here are the only two bad tackles he had everything else was solid a uh, solid in that department so don't worry about that now this right here is what I was referring to man the deep ball the one-on-ones getting caught on more than I would like to see as you can see here man just getting beat and some of these guys are big time receivers but still that's no excuse you know I've given some guys that excuse but man he is you know one of the top guys in the game and this should not be happening even though this right here I granted it's Fitzgerald but like I was saying that's no excuse man not for someone with his with his type of stats and I put him right here in man to man he kept up with them I'll give him that you know with 92 man is solid not great but solid enough to especially keep up with the deep ball but just relentless man just relentlessly getting beat I could not understand why sometimes right here he even had help and he still got beat now like I was saying earlier he's not garbage at this but he did have his moments like I was showing you but this happened way way too often I could not believe that man and as you can see this this was ridiculous man I don't recall Eric Berry struggling this much with the deep ball and this right here as well man 98 speed can get beat you see right there Mike Wallace flew by him right here the receiver gets behind him he's not fast enough to keep up he even dives at his feet so believe me Lawyer Malloy will absolutely have his bad moments however what he did best was this right here just like Eric Berry man so fast at reacting I'm gonna show you again with a different play look at my third strong safety with a red star under him snaps the ball and look how fast he reacts to it man and the speed the play rate, the tackling the pursuit all mixed together man blows up the run before it gets started 
the rest of these plays I'm going to show you in real time. Look how fast he is, man, at, at reacting to that run play, man. Sniffs it out quickly. Halfback tosses, something you see a lot in this game. He can chase a running back down, like right here. Clint Porters, I believe that is, chases him down before he gets started and blowing up the run. Eric Dickerson chases him down. So, absolutely a beast at stopping the run, man. Whether it's halfback tosses, inside zone, whatever. He just so fast at reacting, the play wreck, the pursuit, the tackle, all mixed together. So, even though he had his bad moments with stopping the deep ball, you cannot deny this boy is a beast at stopping the run. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this review. My final thoughts, do I think he's worth 520000 You know what, guys? Barry goes for like 400000 sometimes even less. And honestly, I'm strongly considering going back to Barry just because of how much a lawyer Malloy struggled with the deep ball. Let me know in the comments if you've ever played with lawyer Malloy. Did he play the same for you in terms of just the deep ball? Or is it just me having bad luck? I don't know what it was, but the way he's playing... Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I think I'm going back to Barry. Honestly, I swear. I think I'm going back to Barry. But anyways, guys, let's go wrap this up. My next review on offense is going to be Mark Ingram for the July and Golden Ticket Manziel on defense. I'm still deciding. But anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to leave those comments, man. Let me know. I'll see you boys later. Peace.